Yo, Seti J, what's the word, man? You tapped in with P Films. Big bro, what up, what up? Pleasure to be here right now. Nah, man, pleasure to have you, son. You know what I mean? I know we've been uh, trying to line this up for a minute. You know what I'm saying? You busy, I'm busy, but we locked in right now. You Absolutely. dig? Absolutely. That's a fact. That's a fact. Now, I know for, it's the first time on P Films, you feel me? So we're going to start from the beginning. You dig? Right. Bet. So, like, just, you know what I mean? Tell the people a little bit about where you're from. Uh, so, um, I'm from East Flatbush, Brooklyn, you know? Mm -hmm. Um not too far from the floor seat, not too far from Sheep's Head, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, you know, um, in the southern part of Brooklyn. So, East Flatbush, Brooklyn, two and the five train, Beverly Road. Got you, got yeah. you. You know, I hear so many, like, different stories about Brooklyn, you know, what was your experience like growing up out here? Uh, well, growing up in East Flatbush, I mean, you know, first off, um, I'm West Indian, you know what I mean? I'm, Fair. you know, Haitian American. That's what's uh, up. You know, East Flatbush, from what I've read, at least, uh, has you know, the largest West Indian population. Um, and not only, you know, New York, but I believe like all of America, you know what yeah. I mean? Just like this small neighborhood. Yeah, you know I can I mean? see that, man. So, you know, whether it's Haitians, Jamaicans, St. Lucians, you know what I mean? Whatever, mm -hmm. um, you know, this is kind of the melting pot for real. Facts. And, um, you know, just growing up here, you know, um, I think just growing up in a West Indian household is just a certain upbringing. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just a very, um, it's like, you know, you, it's like you learn manners yeah. very early, you know, yeah. it's just a certain code that mm -hmm. you abide by, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, uh, showing respect to the elderly, you know what yeah. I mean? Just yeah. things of that nature. Um, aside from that, you know, just the elements of outside, you gotcha. know, let it be, uh, you know, uh, gang violence and things of that nature. You know, growing up in an area like this definitely makes you move on a swivel. Mm -hmm. You know, definitely makes you grow up a lot faster than you have to. That's a fact. Um, having to be aware of, you know, certain people, certain things, certain lingos, certain things to wear. Exactly. You know, certain colors, you know. So, um, overall, man, concrete jungle. Facts. Yeah, just facts. to sum it all up. Well, yeah. now, now, you know, you being raised, you know, you being raised in East Flatbush, you know, I know there's a lot of gangs out here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of gangs in, in Brooklyn, period. Right. Like, and I know in the music I hear, you you let it be known that you didn't join the gang. Like, nah. did you ever feel pressure to do that? Um, not really. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think from a very young age, I just knew that wasn't my route. I mean, mm. I might have had, you know, instances being young where... I might have acted out of character and might have yeah. done things for, you know, the acceptance of others. Yeah. But I know in my heart of hearts, um, being in a gang was just never my, that was never my route, you know. Mm. And on top of that, um, I've been rapping for so long, you know, even yeah. the schools that, you know, I've went to, aside from high school, was always around here. So I was always known as, yo, that kid that knew how to rap. So even people that was a part of that, they would always be like, nah, you don't have to do that. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Cause they kind of saw that, yo, you know, I really took the music so serious. Exactly. Um, so for the most part, I never necessarily felt pressured got to, you. Um, you know, be affiliated, you know, in gangs in any way for real, for real. Got you, got yeah. you. So you, you, it seems like you would probably give a lot to the music to what kept you away from all that, all that, you know, bullshit on the streets. Absolutely. Well, no doubt. No doubt. Mm, Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Got you. Now I know you saying that you started doing music so early. Like how early was early for you? Uh, I'm talking four years old. God <laughs> damn. Hold on, you Haitian. Yeah. What? Like I'm so surprised that Haitians are allowing their four-year-old to to do rap music. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? Like most so, of them is so, just like they so stuck on you. You got to go to school. You know what I mean? Yeah, the traditional. So exactly. my parents is actually. So I was born. In New York, you know, okay. in America. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my parents is actually the same way. Um, mm. My parents was he, is Haitian American as well, so it's not mm. your traditional like came from now. Nah. Like I'm actually like about like the second to third generation as Got far as you. you know being in this country goes. And my parents are fairly young, you know. Like my pops, like my mom and my pops are like in their early forties. Oh, I right. damn. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah. They like, listen yeah. to rap. <laughs> yeah, like yo, my dad, like his his rap name. Because both of my parents used to pursue music. His that's rap name up. was Seti Set. Wow. So that's where Seti J came from. Because me and him have the same name. Yeah. And um, my family name is CJ. Got you. So I just you. extended the... You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so that's a fact. for the most part, you know, I got fairly young hip parents. That's what's up, yeah. son. So your father raps. What did your mother do? She raps, sang? Uh, she sung. Well, okay. She sings, yeah. They ever did a track together? 
don't know. Not not from what I know. Maybe it's in the vault, but I'm from what I know now. <laughs> That's what's up. You think you can ever see you putting your pops on the track or your mom's on the possibly. track or something? Possibly. That's what's up. That's what's yeah, up. No possibly in the near future. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, I was looking as far back as, you know what I mean, like eight, nine years ago, bro. I seen a song called <laughs> Feel Alive, the video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like, yo, dog look like a baby here, yeah. son. But what was interesting while I was watching that, mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, it'd be hard for people to pull in one shorty for a video. <laughs> You had a couple in the video. How the hell did you so, manage to, you know what I mean, line that up together for yourself? And they all was taller than you. I'm like, yeah, yo. Yeah, I was sure. I had the all yellow. I had the polo on. I had, I think, um, a pirate's cap. Yeah. So, boom. First off, I'm going to keep it a full bean. Yeah. Those are my sisters. Oh, okay, you know okay, I mean? okay. You know, that's what's up. budget. You yeah, yeah, me? yeah. yeah. So nah, I ain't mad at sister. you, man. <laughs> so, those are my sisters. Shout out Soleil and Becca. Um, that's what's up. Love them daily. Um, yeah, so, you know, those are my sisters. And, um, you know, just... Yeah, like, 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 I literally look back at that video and I'm like, wow. I remember at yeah. one point I had put it on private because I was like, nah, I'll put this out there. But then my uncle was like, yo, like, this is a part of your come up. This exactly. Is That's your story. So, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, yo. You know what I mean? So, you know, I just put it public again and, you know, that's what it is because that's a part of my, you know, that's a part of my story. That's a exactly. part of my come up. Now, I'm right. glad you put that out there because I love when, I, when I'm interviewing somebody just going back and, mm -hmm. and really doing my due diligence, doing the research to check out all the work. And I'm like, damn, son had like 39,000 views on yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing really well, doing really it's well. It's funny because that song was actually, uh, I remember that song was actually dedicated to Willow. Willow, okay. Willow. Willow Smith. No Willow cap. Smith. A word? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, okay, Shout okay. Out Willow. Yep, <laughs> no Willow, if you hear that, you know what it is. Word. Now, I know that you're saying, you know, you started very young with the music. Now, what, like, you never felt, like, nervous or, or, because you saying you started at four, you never felt a little nervous to jump into it? Because I see, uh, exact again, videos young, mm -hmm. performing live young. You never felt that feeling of, damn, son, I'm a little shy, I'm a little scared to do this. Well, I started rapping at four, but I didn't start taking it serious till about the age of nine. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So, um, but even then, yeah. That's you know, still young um, as hell, man. Right, still. Yeah. You know, um, I think, like, always, like, probably, even to this day, like, before I get on stage, mm -hmm. it's always, like, you know, kind of like the bubble guts. Facts. You know what I mean? But Facts. once I get on there, man, I transform. Mm -hmm. You know, different person. I see that. See that. Word, Great word. presence. Great mm -hmm. presence. Thank you. Thank word. you. No doubt. Yeah, you no know, doubt. so it's just, I just tap into something that's beyond me. Yeah. You know? And once I go, I go. That's what's up. Yep. Now, I definitely see that. Mm -hmm. Now, let's fast forward a few years. You know what I mean? You're doing a bunch of shows, releasing freestyles. I see, always see the freestyles. Yeah. You know what I mean? You do the freestyles, then you put the picture at the end. You know what <laughs> I mean? I'm, I'm watching. See the slides. You feel me? <laughs> now, you know what I'm saying? Then you finally release your first body of work, you know, 2000, February 2019, Active. Mm -hmm. Why the name Active and what was that feeling like putting that out to the world? Uh, so Active, the reason, so um, Active, um, you know, uh, was my eight track EP that I put out mm. last year. Wow, a little over a year now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a year and some change. Um, you know, shout out to, uh, you know, Clipper. That's like my main producer. Gotcha. You know what I mean? That's like my main engineer all that you know what facts, i mean facts. Oh, that's my blood yeah, and yeah. uh you know as well as um you know a few other producers that was a part of that project but um the reason i called it active was because you know that was just my energy mm -hmm. you know like mm -hmm. yo like on stage you know in conversation just yeah. wherever i went you know active and i yeah. just wanted it like i wanted that project to be just one word straight to the point gotcha. you know what i mean gotcha. um and you know, even to the cover art, you know, like the all yellow and black, like mm -hmm. it was just a very energetic, even sonically. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, it was just very versatile. You Absolutely. know, there was a lot of versatility. Um, at least I feel. Absolutely. So uh, I, you know, I, I agree. just wanted to, you know, give it a very sharp shooter title. You know what I mean? So where, you know, you read it, you saw it, and it's like, okay, let me check mm -hmm. this out. Mm -hmm. Word. And that was actually on um, my first body of work that I released on all streaming platforms, yeah, you know. Yeah, so yeah, that I was just that. something that I just I just had to kind of get that itch off because mm -hmm. a lot of people know mm -hmm. me for like my freestyles and stuff but in terms of like original material original content yeah you know um or like who said ej was yeah that was always like the mystery you exactly. know what i mean so exactly. i said yo i just want to put a project out yeah. and um you know that was the first of many that's what's up mm -hmm. what's, that's what's up now now what was that feeling like do you feel like the the people received it well and got to know um you know get a better understanding of who you are as an artist yeah absolutely there was one record on there um called song cry 
That's that one of my favorites. We're like, we gonna get into that. Yeah, That's yeah, one of no my doubt. favorites. Um, yeah. You know, Song Cry, um, me and Clipper, we sampled the um, we sampled the Alicia Keys joint. Absolutely. Joint. You know what I mean? The um, you know, Know My Name joint. Yeah. And, you know, just the way he flipped it. And yeah, yeah. Do a little Jay Z. Right. Uh, right. Uh, uh, it's so it's like the sample is Alicia Keys, but yes. the references that I'm making while I'm rapping, it's um, from, like yeah. there's a part in there where I'm like, nah, you don't do shit like exactly. that. You don't just pack up your things and then dip like that. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. but that track definitely, you know, um, resonated very well. Um, and me and Cooper kind of knew even before we put it out. Like, nah, that track out of all eight yeah. is definitely gonna be the one that stands out. Yeah. I was really, um, that's like one of my most personal tracks. That's mm -hmm. like one of my favorite mm -hmm. verses. You that's know what I mean? And I there's no that. hook. There's no pre-chorus. There's no nothing. It's just straight bars. And even the things that I'm talking about, I'm talking about you know the gentrification that's going on. I'm talking about how you know we got Jewish people knocking on our doors, leaving yeah. notes, you know, wanting to buy our you know um home and you know just yeah. a lot of real life shit man you know what i mean and um you know that's one of those tracks that you know um i'm very proud of that's what's up Word. now on that song us speaking about that you know you're like um you got real personal on that song mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying um there's a part you say this line you know barely speaking to my mom's words just get distorted i love her to death but i love her to the death of me but pain is weighing on us mm -hmm. what like what what was it that was 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 stopping y'all from talking or what was certain things y'all was going through if you could get into that yeah um you know first and foremost man love my mother daily you know what i mean Facts. um i'm at a point now in my life where you know honesty is very you know like i'm i'm i can't like when i write i can't i can't write nothing but the truth Facts. you know what i mean and um I actually you know had a couple words from my family you know mm -hmm. even about that record you know what course, i'm saying where you know it's like you know they felt and you know i'm empathetic you know what i mean where they might have felt like man you know did you have to say that yeah, yeah. you know we could have kept that in but it's like this is my truth mm -hmm. you know what i mean i can't i can't not write you know like, like i i can't write fictional tales yeah, you know what i mean yeah. and you know this is a a a, a form of therapy for me absolutely. in a serious way absolutely you know what i mean you know yeah. and um this is the only way where i can exert that and get that out mm -hmm. um and as far as those lyrics go you know um i live with you know uh like i grew up with my grandmother mm -hmm. you know what i mean in my grandmother's crib you know i don't live with neither of my parents you know gotcha. they're both in my life but you know you we live don't live in the room. same yeah. household you get what i'm saying and um because of that you know because my parents are separated you know growing up um i always kind of had a you know a bit of resentment it's like on my good days it's like okay they tried their best Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I ain't gonna knock them for that, you know, because yeah. they did. But on my bad days, it's like, damn, you know. Why y'all um, trying hard or something? Y'all could have done better. Yeah, yeah. On my bad days, as selfish as that may sound. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, that resentment of like, damn, you know, life could have been a bit different if things did work out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, when I say, um, barely speaking to my mom's words just get distorted. I love it to the death of me, but pain is weighing on us. It's like sometimes when I try to communicate certain things to her, it's like she don't, it, or or even maybe when she try to communicate, yeah. communicate things to me, you know, um, sometimes we, you know, we not seeing eye to eye. Yeah. You know, same thing with my pops. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes yeah, yeah, you had that, that line with him as well. You right. Know, you know, similar. and what stems from that, you know, there is a lot of pain. You know what I'm saying? That's just mm -hmm. been kind of just buried, 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 buried. And, you know, I think we kind of now get into a point where we're kind of opening up about it. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? And because, there's layers to that. Right. It's so many layers. And, you know, to this day, we still peeling back, peeling back, peeling back the layers. But, mm -hmm. you know, that's what I meant, you know, um, with that specific lyric where it's like, you know, um, there's times where we just didn't see eye to eye. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, you know. Um, what stems from that is just a lot of pain, you mm -hmm. know, that, you know, to this mm -hmm. day, we still got to address. Got yep. you, got you. Do you feel like it's getting somewhere with them and everything? Yeah, um, I think this up. quarantine, you know, definitely played a big part. Yo, I, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, my father live in, in VA. He live in mm -hmm. the South, but he's from East New York, so I don't really see him as much. Uh, yeah. Maybe, like, about once, twice, maybe three times a year, but mm -hmm. my mother still live in New York. Okay. And um, my mother actually quarantined at my grandmother's crib, so she was actually at the crib, and, you know, um, it kind of gave us a chance to reconnect in mm -hmm. ways that we haven't connected in years that's what's up you know so you know it's getting better day by day but it's a process absolutely yep. absolutely that's what's up that's what's up mm -hmm. now you know i know you're saying the the music is therapeutic and obviously i feel like you know you have your moments where you're venting in the music mm -hmm. uh with that being said i know recently you you just released sweet america mm -hmm. 
Great track, by the way. I Thank love the you track. So much. No doubt, no doubt. Now, that's a very intense record. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm curious to know, like, how how did that come about? Like, how did y'all put that together? And, uh, and why? Yeah, no doubt. So first and foremost, shout out Clipper. You know, just on the uh, production again. Um, I was very so Sweet America. I was very. I think like oh maybe as soon as I seen the George Floyd clip. Um, yeah. I I. I just kind of, I didn't post anything on socials yeah. or my social media, you know? It, it was just one of those things where it's like, man, like, personally, as you know, uh, a black man, you know, a young black man in America, um, as an artist, yeah. you know, alone, mm -hmm. I felt like I had a duty and I felt like for me to post anything and not address that specific issue. Yes. I just wouldn't feel right. I feel you. Morally. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Personally. I'm, I'm only speaking for myself. So, I think for like that week and a half to two weeks, I didn't post anything up until that visual. Yeah. Um, up until that song dropped. And even prior to, you know, writing the record, I, I really, even my intention behind writing it, I really had to be honest with myself and say, yo, you know, um, I, even in the record, I say, um, no, um, no, I did not release this single so I can monetize. Yeah. I don't have no rollout plan, nor did I strategize. Yeah. You know, that was really just like, yo, this is me raising awareness towards a situation. Basically, the video was, yo, I know that when I rap, that's like my, that's the point where everybody pay attention. Yeah. And then yeah. like midway through the video, it's like, okay, here's the organizations that you can donate to okay. that are fighting, um, you know, Social racism injustice. and. Yeah injustices that are happening in this country Absolutely. you know so um that was just me basically doing my part yeah. you know what i'm saying me contributing to the cause in That's the best way that i know how to and um you know i just really wanted to be very considerate and um really articulate myself in you know in the most proper manner because mm -hmm. i feel like with hip-hop culture mm -hmm. it's like you know hip-hop is a very influential culture Absolutely. and i feel like it's a double like like it's a double edged sword because, for example, we say fuck twelve, we say NYPDK, we say you know um NYPD suck my dick, right? Mm -hmm. But if you was that ass niggas, yo, bro, like why you say that? On the humble, like really like have niggas articulate, yo, bro, like why do you say that? Niggas yeah. can't even, I don't know, I just say it. Now, yeah. yo, Seti, why do you say NYPDK? Why do you say NYPD suck my dick? Ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh. um because we're being racially profiled, one. Yeah. Um, there's stupid quotas that have to be met yeah. every month, too, and we're being locked up for bullshit, not even crimes, exactly. three. Now, it's different if, you know, you or your mans is getting locked for some shit that y'all actually yeah, did. Yeah, At that yeah. point, it's like, yo, free my guys. But, you know, if you're getting locked up just based off the color of your skin, yeah. then, you That's know, till, till there is police reform, not only in New York, but throughout this country, it is NYP. You know, NYPDK, NYPD suck my dick, fuck 12. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and even, um, you know, understanding that, you know, like, I actually been to a protest for the first time because of this whole situation. Yeah. So, wow. And That's there was up. a lot of things that, even at the protest, I had to kind of peep, like, yo, we need white people in order to end racism. Mm -hmm. We, like, how can you end something that you didn't start? Yeah. So gonna, that's why in the record when I was like, yeah, we, um, we, we gonna get, we gonna get, there, I, we gonna get there. No <laughs> I got, I definitely yeah, got a question. I'll go all day. Big Facts, no, no, I love it. I love right. it. I love it. Now, I, I do say this, cause you say, um, you do say fuck twelve, mm -hmm. but then you also say shout out the good cops. No now, doubt. my question to you is, do you think it's contradicting to say fuck twelve? But also shout out the good cops because cops are 12. So would it be right. contradicting to say fuck 12 and all that? I could understand how somebody could see it like that. And mm -hmm. I'm empathetic towards that. But like I said, you know, so first off when, or at least when I say fuck 12 or NYPDK yeah. or this, that, and the third, it's not all cops. Okay. I have family members that are cops. Gotcha. I have family members that are a part of law enforcement. You know, uh, captains, lieutenants, all that. Bet. My apologies for cutting you off. How, do they, how did they feel about the track? actually haven't spoken to those specific family members okay uh, i'm sure they might have seen it yeah um but i haven't spoken to them okay. exactly gotcha, yep. gotcha. all right my bad go ahead mm -hmm. yeah, yeah but um you know when i say you know nypdk you know, um nypdk you know fuck 12 this that and the third um you know it's not all cops yeah you know yeah. there are good cops absolutely you know um you know i'm talking about the rotten apples i'm talking about yeah. the ones that give you know um 
law enforcement a bad name. Okay. You know, so those are the ones that I'm really talking about. Gotcha. Yeah. And now we could get to that line, you know, you say, to white people nationwide who support the cause, mm -hmm. the love is felt and no, we can't do this without y'all. What do you feel like their role is in a time like this? And why do you feel like it's important? Well, their role, you know, for those that, you know, white people that aren't racist. Yeah. It's yo. Going to white people who are racist and saying, yo, this is crazy. Yeah. This is wrong. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. What is your reason for disliking these people? Disliking who? No, I'm saying like this is oh, what they right, should right, be saying. Yeah, to. right, exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? It takes that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Cause it's like we can't like it's the same like it's the equivalent to, you know, when you like when at the protest, right? If a cop's coming after you, yeah. or me, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm a young black man, you know, shit. You put another white person in front of you to stop that. Yeah. Cause that's the only people the cops will listen to. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's the same thing in that situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, you know, it takes dumb or at least the younger generation of, you know, white people to be like, yo, like this is crazy. Yeah, this is wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is completely wrong. This is mm -hmm. not, you know, the narrative that we should keep continuing. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So, you yeah. know, so that's what I, you know, meant by that line. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Word. Cause you know, cause we need them. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes them in order to end it. You know what I mean? Cause like I said before, you know, we can't end something that we ain't even start. You I know, we just kind of came in, in this world, you know, and with, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. with this bullshit in place. Facts, facts. Word. Do you feel like? So with that being said, do you feel like it can end without their help, or do you feel like it? We we can't do it alone. Like we literally need their help. Mm, I ain't gonna say I got the answer for real, yeah. for real. Okay, okay. But I know that if we didn't have their help, it would take a lot longer. I agree. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I definitely agree with that. You know, I ain't gonna say say like, yo, I got the whole yeah. eight nine. But I do feel it would take a lot longer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Word. Now, do you hear like like you know? I'll hear a lot of people be like, um, yo, you know, I'm down with this segregation. You know what I'm saying? I'm down with this or that. Like. You know, do you, would you, do you feel like, like, you, you kind of understand where they're coming from? Or do you feel like, nah, like, you with the, you with the equality? Definitely understand where they're coming from. Yeah, Absolutely. And why is you that? Know? Because I think that, and I ain't saying it's right, yeah. you know, I'll get to that. But when there was, you know, segregation, you know, um, everything prior to, you know, integration. Yeah. Um. There was a sense, you know, there was more togetherness. You yeah. know what I mean? There yeah. was more support amongst our communities. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. Yeah. Compared to now, absolutely. I don't agree that, you know, we should stay segregated. You yeah. know, I, I think, you know, an equal world is a beautiful world. The yeah. fact that we could all, I think that's how it should be. I agree you. Too, know, for yeah. real, for real, the only race is human race. Mm -hmm. You know, all these other social classes and written, you know, black, white, it's, it, it, you know, it's all man-made concepts. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. You know, mm -hmm. that's, that's, you know, that's the world we live in. That's the structure we live in. It's all, you know, man-made concepts. Yeah. You know, so um, I get why, you know, one would say that. But um, personally, you know, I definitely disagree. Yeah, I yep. feel you. I feel you. Now, in the video, I know you wore a Black Lives Matter shirt for mm -hmm. obvious reasons. You know what I'm saying? And at times I hear cops and like counter protesters of the Black Lives Matter movement, you know, they complain that black lives only matter when it's a cop or a white person killing blacks. You know what I'm saying? Do you agree with that? Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. and, and not saying it's right. Yeah. Because it's like, you know. These niggas killing other niggas every day. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it does raise the question like, okay, how is it that, you know, if someone in the hood gets smoked by someone else that looked yeah. just like them, it's like, okay, that's, it's whatever. But when, you know, that same life is taken by a white person or a cop, yeah. we all want to, you know, like, it's a yeah. very hypocritical, it's crazy. I it's a very it. hypocritical mindset mm -hmm. him, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and in every aspect, I think it's fucked up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, word. I mean, yeah. you know, even like even that answer, I don't really have the nah, proper you. response for. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's a very backwards, you know, 
a way of moving, but absolutely. Well, mm -hmm. see that that's why I feel like it really starts with us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong. We we I do feel like yo, you know what the like you said before, there needs to be a reform within mm -hmm. the within the police, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It needs to be a reform, but I also feel like, like you said, if we get together as people, we could do a lot, we could do a lot, man. Like, even them doing this whole Blackout Tuesday, you know what I'm saying? Things like that, keeping the money within our community, right. that it starts from there, you know? Right. Word, word. Yeah, there's a lot of dope shit we can make, man. I think Jay even said that, like, yo, it's like, will we ever get together? Thanks. Like, ever? You know, it, it takes a lot to, Get everybody on the same yeah. accord, though. You know, some, some people are just really, you know. So, yeah. do you see that you being in Brooklyn doing the music? Do you see even the musicians, the artists? Do you see like unity amongst them, or do you feel like everybody's still a little scattered, doing their own thing here and there? Uh, I think New York is getting better. Yeah, I think we getting better. I do. I believe that too. You know, what I mean, we getting there. Yeah, I think there is, you know. Little, little beefs that is unnecessary. Yeah, Brooklyn um, has a it's, lot It's really of, just yeah. like, bro, like, like, <laughs> like it, it, you know, I think a lot of shit could be avoidable. You yeah. know what I mean? And um, you know, I think it just really stems, you know, just down to you know, um, certain individuals just not really being secure with themselves, mm -hmm. and you know, insecurity, and you know, just real personal shit. You yeah. know what I mean? And, um, you know, like I said, man, like, you know, I think a lot of beefs can really just be, uh, you know, avoided. You know, yeah. I, I really don't think it's necessary for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, and if we were to come together for real, for real, yo, it's a different, it's a a different timing because the strength is in the numbers. Absolutely. You know, but um, I think in the near future, you know, we definitely going to get there, though. You know, yeah, I true. think the energy is, mm -hmm. you, know, you see a lot more artists collaborating and, you know, working together, you know, even being in, you know, um, um, each other's hoods, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Um, we still got ways to go, but I think, you know, eventually we'll get there. That's what's up. That's mm -hmm. what's up. Now, I know, uh, I know you constantly working and everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Always constantly working. I try, you know? man. I try. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. Like, can we expect anything in the near future? Either a sing, another single coming out, body of work? Can we expect anything like that? So uh, this fall, actually, uh, I'm dropping another body of work. That's what's up. Um, That's what's up. So the first single should be out this September. Got you. Um, yep, yep. I ain't going to give no exact date. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But, you know, definitely, um, you know, uh, September, you know, first single should, you know what I mean, uh, be out. You know, um, I should be dropping at least two to three singles Got prior you. to the project dropping. Okay. Uh, but, you know, everything should, uh, you know, be released and out. Um, definitely before the New Year's. That's what's up. Yep. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. Now, do you feel like um, now you put out active last year? Mm -hmm. Do what do you feel like you would like to give the world this time around putting this project out that either that is a little different from active, like or are you, is that even your goal? Like, what's your goal with this one that was different from the other one? Well, this project, like, so this next project that's um coming out you know mind you like i don't even got the name for it none of that you know we okay, still piecing gotcha. it together we still like we're maybe like about less than a handful of tracks away from completion okay okay um but what me and clipper really wanted to do with this next project was we really wanted to tell the story more you know mm. sonically put you in that you know it's like i think with hip-hop music all we're doing is just Putting the listener in our environment absolutely that's all we're doing we're yeah. just creating that atmosphere so i think that was, you know, uh, one of the main objectives. Yeah. Um, who is Seti J? Getting into that mm -hmm. a lot more. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of track. Like, there's um one track that's um it's untitled for now. Um, I'll bless you with like you know a lyric from it. Yeah, let's do that. Um, exclusive. This let's exclusive. Word, word, word. Um, I was like um smoking weed because I was depressed. I had to fall back. Calling God, my nigga, but he ain't called back. Maybe the reason why I don't believe in none of that suicidal thoughts was all up in my head. Facts, you know what I mean? Like mm. I'm getting into yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's just you know one of a few tracks where I'm really kind of breaking it down and really Absolutely. getting into things that I might have not gotten to on active. That's what's up. You know what I mean? That's so um, I'm really excited about you know this next project and uh you know just even the rollout and the plan for it. You know. 
I'm not saying this is going to be the one where, you know, niggas make it. If so, great, but there is going to be an incline in attention. That's what's up. Word. That's what's up. I like to hear that. I like to hear that. Mm -hmm. Listen, man, before we go, I always tell people, you know what I mean? Name like three people, you know what I'm saying? You like to see tapped in with P Films. You know, people you admire their work or, right. you know what I'm saying? People within the, the people you know personally. Not no doubt. You know, that's doing their thing. Who'd you want to see tapped in with P Films? Ah, uh, man. I would like to see. Shit, it's a lot of artists I fuck <laughs> with, bro. Too many to even count. Um, off rip, I'll say my 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 man Johnny Bass. Gotcha. He's um he's from Queens, okay, Hollis, okay. Yeah, but yeah. you know he reside in uh you know Bed Stuy, gotcha. right over Johnny on the Bass. Broadway. He's dope as fuck. That's what's up. Um, Johnny Bass. Um, damn, you only said three. Fuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, Bag Boys. You Johnny know that's Bass, a collective out of, out, of, okay. out of Queens. Gotcha. You know those are my guys. You know Forevermore. Uh, Babyface now, single Lazardo, you know they working. That's you know what I mean? Um, I say last. Uh, who's another homie I could mention? Um, shit. <laughs> Get that last it's, one it's in. A lot of, it's a lot of. Dope nah, I already know. I already man. know. Um, I know you loopy too. I already yeah, know. Yeah. Um, and I got on the tip of my tongue. Um. I'd say Fresh the Prophet. There we go, Fresh, Fresh the Prophet. Fresh the Prophet. Um, white homie, but yo, he from Philly. Yeah. But um, you know, reside in Brooklyn. Gotcha. He's a part of a, a collective called Next Gen. Gotcha. Fire. Right, yep. Bet, bet. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make that happen. We're gonna tap in now. Seti J, is there anything you wanna tell the people before we get up out of here? Um, you know, Seti J, East Flatbush, Brooklyn, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just a young boy trying to do it, man. So, That's you know, up. just stay tuned for the journey and we're going to make history. Let's get it. Let's Word. get it. Listen, man, Seti J, thank you for tapping in with P Films. I truly appreciate you, oh, you know what I mean? Listen, I see what you're doing. This is why I reached out mm -hmm. and just know you got our support, you heard? Love. Word.